Hey guys, doing a quick little test on some heat shielding uh, in my kitchen, uh, and I'll get back with the results in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple examples. Uh, I'm gonna run our sheet metal, uh, which will be well, basically what my foot box is made out of, except it's aluminum. This is actually galvanized steel. I'm going to run it on my back burner, which is my lowest setting. Uh, there's actually a melt setting that gets pretty low. Uh, I basically can never boil water on that. Uh, it's about three inches away, um, which about roughly what my headers will be. Headers maybe won't be quite as hot, but we'll, this will give us some ideas of uh, what our heat transfer is. Without any insulation, with one layer of insulation, and then I'm actually thinking about doing some a double panel. Uh, my inner panel, which would be this one right here. And then I will line that with the uh, Coolit Thermotech. And I will have another panel on the outside right next to it uh, to hopefully transfer that heat with an air gap of about a half of an inch. And that will be also lined on the inside with Thermotech. That'll also give me a nice clean finish on the outside where I can polish this aluminum or do something with it, uh, uh, powder coat or whatever, instead of having the, the heat wraps that everybody does uh, instead. Um, and I'll probably use on this outer piece, I'll probably use a different material uh, that's more for the engine bay rather than this stuff. So that is the... <laughs> Coolant Thermotech that I'm using. It's an acoustical mat and a heat suppressor. So uh, that's what I'm starting with. And I have a heat gun. I'm using a paper, uh, just a piece of paper, to go over the heat shield because my gun doesn't work real well with uh, a reflective material. So if I just put the paper on top of it, right at the heat source, I can get a good temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that right now and just get a temperature without any heat on. Uh, here's my gun. I'm going to set it to Fahrenheit and we're right currently about 75 degrees. Let's just say 75 and I'm going to actually record that on my paper here. 75 degrees. Okay, single sheet. I'll get back to you with the results. Okay, we've been running this for about 50 seconds. I'm going to take the temperature right at one minute. And there's my bell for my timer. And you can see we've got a lot of heat transfer. 222, right around 220 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that on my sheet after one minute. I'm also gonna do a five minute check as well. Okay, well I just hit five minutes. And as you can see, we are a little bit hotter, but not too much hotter. It's kind of ranging around there a little bit, 230 to 240, so we'll just call it 235. How's that? And I don't, eh, maybe 240, but see, it jumps around. And again, I'm using this paper just so I can get a better reading. Uh, it's probably not accurate or totally accurate, but you can see we're about 240 degrees. Uh, which is transfer. It doesn't seem like it's going to get any hotter than that. Okay. Now we're doing the same single sheet with the Thermotech applied. Uh, it's been running for almost a minute. There's my one minute mark. And you can see we're at about a hundred... We'll call it 140. It is fluctuating a little bit. Again, um, why don't we call it 140? And that's after one minute. And we'll do another check after five minutes. Okay, back at it. We're running up almost five minutes now. And I'm definitely getting warmer. There's my five minute mark. Uh, you can see we're running about one. 90, 200, 
fluctuates a little bit. If I get a little closer, maybe I get a better, I think it's 12 inches is what they say. And let's just say 200 after five minutes. Okay, our first two tests were pretty impressive. Uh, we had a single sheet, uh, got up after one minute, got up to 220, and after five minutes, got up to two, 240. <clears throat> With just the one coolant sheet, we dropped down 60, 70, 80 degrees after one minute and 40 degrees after uh, five minutes. Pretty impressive. My next step is to actually just add a second sheet. So uh, this was going to be simulating the outside next to the headers uh, with a half inch gap. I have these half inch spacers in between. No liner on this outside sheet as of yet and the inside sheet will have the uh, liner as well. So I'm gonna place it in the same spot, take our temperatures, and I'll be back in one minute. Okay, so we've been running this for about one minute with the two sheets and the one Thermotech with a half inch gapper in between. Uh, after one minute, let's see what our temperature comes out to be. Wow. So right now, after one minute, we're at 83 degrees. That's a big drop. Okay. Well, here we are, about five minutes into the measuring of the temperature of having two sheets of aluminum, in this case galvanized steel, separated by a half inch spacer and one piece of coolant. That sound you hear is my five minute. So we're gonna take a temperature uh, uh, at five minutes and see what we got here. Turn this on, change it to Fahrenheit. Let's see what we got. So after five minutes, We're at 92, 95, max temperature of 98. Move it around a little bit, 101 max. Let's just go with, we'll go with 100 degrees on this. Double, double sheets, half inch spacers, only one sheet of Thermotech, cool it. We're gonna go with 100 degrees. You can see with not a same, not a double sheet of metal, we were up at 200, and with nothing, no thermotech, we're at 240. Uh, that's a huge difference. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two sheets and two pieces of the coolant thermotech and see how well that responds. See in a few. Okay, we've been running this for almost a minute now. It's two layers of sheet metal, uh, two layers of the Coolit Thermotech, uh, and separated by a half inch gap in between the two. And again, I'm running this on my lowest setting of melt. Uh, my previous high heats were 240 degrees and 200 degrees. Uh, single sheets and then the double sheet with only one thermotech uh, did get up to a hundred after five minutes so after a minute let's just test this see what we're looking at and name this so I tested this at room temperature and it was 75 and we're maybe a uh, one degree above after one minute and I'm going to come back in five minutes, let this run for five minutes, and see how it's looking. But so far, it is looking phenomenal. I think I might have to do two sheets with two uh, protective heat shields in between my headers and my footbox. Be back in five. Okay, guys, we've been running for five minutes. We've been running two sheets of metal with a half inch gap and two thermotechs on each side. Uh, the side near the grill 
is uh, replicating the exhaust end of the foot box where the headers are and this is the foot box side so i'm going to take the temperature now <clears throat> see what we got after five minutes it's actually plus five minutes more than five minutes now let's go to fahrenheit that'll work better after five minutes on the same heat we're at 90 to 93 degrees Well, that's it. The setup I think I'm gonna do for my foot box area near my headers. I think that's the best option. I may even add a small uh, scoop to scoop some air into there because as we all know, airflow removes heat. Uh, and um, But this insulation works pretty good. Now, another test I could do is maybe after an hour of driving or something like that, but I'll do that at another date. Talk to you later. Bye.